Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox World of Wolves where we are making good headway. We just got our first deer in, we completed the boar quest. We've done pretty well and uh, we have, uh, so we just need to get more berry, well we need to do berry bushes, we need to do sparrows. We have a lot left to do but we've also done a lot. So uh, we're well on our way towards getting wolves. We're moving very very quickly. Uh, what do we need here? We need the color trait of pink. So we're gonna do pink tomatoes. What colors can we even get for the tomatoes? Um, we could get dark purple ones at some point. So we'll go ahead and we'll selectively breed for this. We had just enough DP for it. I hope I picked a good one. I did. And uh, so we'll, I'm going to remove this one and this one so that uh, hopefully this will be the one that will spread. And we should have pink tomatoes then. It's They've eaten off of it. Hopefully it will spread its genes here. I'm kind of removing this. Oh, we've got the spooky woods are spreading closer here. <laughs> uh, but hopefully this will be the one to spread its uh, its genes. We'll let it do that. And I'm going to work on some of the other quests while we wait instead of just sitting here watching it. So for the sparrow quest, what exactly do we need again? Or it's not really a quest, but so we need a diet of barley and 30% woodland. So to get the barley, it actually comes from this heather here. And to get barley, we can actually already start breeding it. So let's just go ahead and jump in and we'll do that. And we can now get the reward for oh deer. That's awesome. Now we got the swamp grass species. Now, I think I'm going to try and complete as many of these tasks as I can. We'll just remove some of these biomes. So for now, we'll just do a tiny little swamp biome over here. And that'll get us a good start on that. So we can at least complete as many uh, as we can. We don't have to complete them for this uh, this quest here, or for this challenge, but um, it's helpful if we can. So let's go ahead, we'll place this here. I think we can put that in. And what is it like? It likes stones, I believe, and we don't have those here. So yeah, we can place in some stones. That'll make it happier. We'll put some in this whole area. And are these pink? These are red normally, yep, okay. We have this one, please tell me. Okay, it's getting older, but it still should be. Okay, we have this tomato plant. Is this a pink one? It is not, so I'm gonna remove it. Um, we have this tomato plant, which is also not a pink one. So, we're gonna just try our best here. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. All right, we can, we're gonna remove these. I'm hoping this doesn't cause problems for the deer. But this should mean that this tomato bush is the one to spread. Do we have a pink one? We have a pink one. Yay. All right, let's start on the berry bush. We'll get going with that. This does make for a very spooky woods feel. Uh, the purple there. So we need a diet of barley. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to set up a higher woodland area here that doesn't have trees. So we can put chickens in them just for a little bit. So let's go spreads biome woodland. And we want to put in some oregano. And these buttercups we'll place in here. Oh, we don't even have enough DP for that, though. So we can place those in soon. Thankfully, we are getting more and more DP every time time goes by, pretty much. So let's go ahead and continue on. We've got lots of these pink uh, tomato bushes. I think all of our tomato bushes in this area will now be pink, but that's fine. So now we have a berry bush. What is it like? Um, it likes to be below 50 meters, and it dislikes large rocks, but we don't have any of those, so we can kind of just plunk it wherever, pretty much. Uh, let's see. So we should be able to put chickens in this area, I think. And as long as we put in some stones, we can put in some barley. And, uh, it should be happy enough up here. If we just put in this barley here... Then we can place that, and we'll be able to also put in some chickens when we have enough DP. We just gotta wait a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and put one in here. Um, if we place it over here, then it'll be far enough away from the trees. We'll kind of just trim some of these back a little bit so that it should be far enough away that we can get the sparrow without it being an issue. Because now the barley has grown, and so the chickens should be able to just go eat it. Um, are you going to be less happy? No, because they can wander closer to their disliked species. Um, a while ago, Thin Matrix actually mentioned that an animal has a certain home area, and that's where it draws its environmental conditions from, not from its wanderings. So, these guys' home is probably, it's back over this area here. And, uh, so that will work for them. So we should be able now to do sparrows here, 
and uh, then we'll remove this chicken population so that we don't have to worry about it and uh, we don't have to worry about that issue so we're working on forest trees as well so we need two new species of forest trees we already got heather we need fern and we need sage so let's take a look at that if we look at heather i think nope that's not where it comes from uh sage probably comes from yeah it comes from rosemary we can just start breeding it and uh, to get another species of forest tree we can get juniper trees which we just need a color trait of dark green for so let's just go ahead we can place well let's see how much it costs first because i want to be able to just get started on it um if we select this dark green is 20k so that's quite expensive let's place you in the woods here you should be pretty happy yep and then we'll just remove these chickens because they're not really going to be happy here once we start expanding the woodland so let's remove many and just clear out that whole area all right, there we go. So we need to really uh, gain a lot of DP to be able to do that, but we'll get the sage at least. And uh, that we can place here, and I think it spreads, not, oh, fern spreads forest, sage spreads forest, and uh, it doesn't really have any preferences, I don't think. I think it, it'll just be fairly happy. Oh, it only has one like species though. It likes stones and grasses. Is a fern a grass? I believe... No, it's, it's a fern. It, it's literally a fern. So, is barley a grass? I think barley counts as a grass. Yes! So we can place some barley in, and it'll be a lot happier because, yeah, it's much happier now. So, to get ferns, we need a color trait of dark green and a size trait, a large size trait. So, what is it, how much does it cost to get dark green? We'll probably put both of these in another area, in an area of the forest by themselves. Oops, I want to see, how much is the size trait gonna, or how much is the color trait gonna cost us? For dark green, it's only five. And then for, um, for size... It's a lot, so <laughs> uh, we need to save up some DP. We'll wait on that quest. So a bird in the hand should be starting to happen. Mary Berry should be starting to happen as well. Uh, when well, maybe we need to place some deer farther up, but they also might. Uh, they they're within range of it at least. Yes, there we go. So we got. Wait, does it have to be eaten by something? It has to be by sheep. Okay, so we can place these out. Sometimes those quests are a little bit uh, deceptively difficult because it has to be a specific something that um, that eats them. Okay, well what we'll do is we will place some berry bushes up here, and then we will also place sh some sheep up here. I think I might remove some of this barley. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, so remove many, because that'll make it more likely that the sheep will use the berry bush. I should have waited until the berry bush was fully grown for that, but I think the sheep will be alright. I think they can eat other stuff too, but hopefully they'll prioritize this berry bush over that. Um, I don't think it's getting too hu No, it's starting to get hungry. Okay, please, berry bush, be finished soon. Oh, good, okay. So, that should start towards that quest. Uh, yes, okay, that'll be good. That We're working towards that one. And uh, we'll go ahead and continue on with this area. This isn't... Oh, that is actually, yeah, that's generating the uh, extra tall, tall trees. So, let's go ahead and we will fast forward here for a while. We'll let ourselves gain some more DP. And then we're going to start working on this other forest biome area. So we can collect the word reward for a bird in a hand. That's awesome. And uh, now we have the jungle biome, basically. But what we're going to do first, I'm going to take... So it was rosemary that produces ferns, right? Eventually, I think... Yes, and we need dark green and large size. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that like... Where do we want to put it? We'll put it over here. No, this is near the swamp, but it won't be a swamp forever. So if we place this here, what is it like species? It's trees, right? Yes. So even though it won't be the most happy thing in the world, we can still go for the dark green color and the large size trait. So if we do that, that'll be pretty good. And then for the tree, what exactly do we need to get the, um, the juniper tree? So it needs to be dark green and it just needs to have animals nearby. Hmm. 
So, we can put that in. I we we want to put it over here. How much does it cost for the juniper tree? Or for the, um, the dark green? If we go dark green, it's 20k. So we need to save up a little bit more anyway. But we should be able to do that. We can at least start getting it in. And that'll make everything happier. We can get the reward for Mary Berry. That's awesome. Now we should be able to place in a tall tree. And we can just go ahead and selectively breed it to give dark green trees. And so this will be our dark green area. We'll have kind of a different forest area. And then we'll settle that in. Um, and this should be able to get... No, it's not quite able to get the uh, fern. This one can, though. So we'll start on that. And we'll have this just be a darker area. <laughs> so we'll be able to work on that. And then we'll put animals over here at some point as well. We'll put boars in. So what? These guys are... I think they're natural color two, I want to say. Or they're natural color one. Okay. So we can maybe put the... Um, well, well, we'll just see what color we get because sometimes it has uh, different ones... So, let's place one of these over here, because I think it'll be happy, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Now, what I want to do, we can put in... We'll put in some cedar trees over here as well, because uh, we want to have the boars, and we want to make them pretty happy. Uh, actually, maybe not. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just put sheep. We can put an apple tree here. And, yeah, that'll be fine, because then what we can do... We'll fast forward, we'll let it grow a little bit, and then we'll put a sheep there. Actually, we can fix this problem already because we can just stick a sparrow in. And then that'll make this happier because it likes animals. And we can just let this continue to spread as it grows here. So I'm going to move some of these. I want to transplant that up here, and that'll help. And we should be pretty good. So once this apple tree grows up, it'll help. It's just slow right now because, yeah, its suitable biome is still fairly low. We could put in... We have sage. We could put in ferns. I believe they also spread it. Not yucca. Ferns. Um, they do spread forest biome, and they will fit in nicely here. So we can place a few of these. And we're down to having no DP again. So let's let that area grow up. And I believe to get the the tree we needed, well, we'll, we'll see. I, I think we needed, we need, we just need animals. So we don't even really need, it doesn't even have to necessarily be, um, wait. Oh, it's just flying around. I was like, where is it? Did it die? But it didn't. Um, let's also put down some sparrows here because that'll make the wobbly tree population a lot happier. And uh, they can start nesting over there. For the most part, though, things are going fairly well. So what other quests do we have? We're working on this one. We're almost done with that one, actually. But we also needed uh, guinea pigs and potatoes. So potatoes, I believe, actually come from tomatoes in this. If we look at this, that is a red tomato still. So apparently we do still have them. If we look here, no, they don't. Okay, what do uh, what do potatoes come from in this? Uh, it's hard to keep it all straight, but uh, okay. Oh, they come from sage. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, it makes sense. I guess they wouldn't come from fruit bushes because they're they're root vegetables. They're not fruit. Um, if we come over here, we have sage. We need an acer tree, and to get an acer tree, we have to. How do we get those? I don't remember these. Well, I do remember them, but I don't remember how we get them. Um. Juniper trees. I think they might um, be what unlocks the Acer tree. Let's just look at lives in biome forest. That'll that'll tell us more. So they come from oh they come from cedar tree, and what we need for that is the color trait of dark orange. So if we go here, how much does it cost to do that? A lot. Great. All right, we're gonna earn more DP for a while then. <laughs> Alrighty, so we should be close to. Oh yeah, we have one of these. Then we can almost we can almost do this. We just need more uh, sparrows here, which I think once that apple tree is grown, hopefully it'll nest and uh, start to have babies, and then we'll be able to do that and finish that quest. We just have to wait for the apple tree to grow up more. We could also, oh, you know what we could we could place here? We could kind of uh, kill two birds with one stone. We could put in a guinea pig 
Is this almost fully grown? It's almost fully grown. So yeah, we can put in a guinea pig right here. What is its other liked species? Um, herbs and flowers. So what, uh, what forest flowers do we have? Lives in biome forest. Um, buttercups. No, those spread woodland. Uh, Heather is a flower, and it spreads forest biome, and it's not gonna like to live up here. Okay, great. Um, I'm sure- okay, pansies come from daisies. So what do we need for a pansy? If we look here at a daisy, what do we need for that? Nope, that's not what I wanted to click. I wanted to click- okay, so if we place a daisy in the forest, we can start getting pansies. We'll place a daisy here. We'll start unlocking the pansies. Hopefully this won't spread too much. We'll just remove them all when we're done. But that'll make our guinea pigs happier. And uh, that'll improve that. But these guys can eat from there. We should see our sparrow start to nest pretty soon. Probably. Or is he? Yeah, already nesting. Yes, and we got pansies. So let's place those here. Should be pretty happy, right? Yeah, okay. And then let's remove many because these spread grassland. We're just going to get rid of all the daisies. Now we should also be able to start working on the juniper tree, and um, we should be able to take a cedar tree and get dark orange pretty soon, actually. Yes, so we'll do that, and then I believe, okay, oh, we need more sage now. No! All right, now let's, or no, we, we can't, yeah, we just have to be able to get the dark orange, so we're not even that close to that yet. Wow, okay. Let's get this, and we'll go check on the juniper that we got soon. Let's buy this, and hopefully this isn't... Yeah, it's, it's still fine. We'll, we'll be able to get those, and we'll place these, because I think if we look at... Let me just check on the acer tree. I think the only thing it doesn't like is tall trees. Yeah, so we'll be able to do that. We can place this, uh, this tree down here, and we can place the acer trees up here, because I think they like being high up, if I remember correctly. Uh, or no, they like being a little lower down. So wherever we place them, we'll put the um, the cedar trees we use to make them too. We can maybe put them. Where do we want to put them? We don't have any great areas for them. We we can we can stick them over here and just be careful with our tall trees. So we have oh, we got forest flora and fauna, and we just need red mushrooms. So to get red or well, I think we need more than red mushrooms, but we need them at least. Um, no requirement. Red mushrooms, where are you? Red mushrooms are here. They come from button mushrooms, predictably. So, let's see. We have mushrooms over here. Uh, what do we do to get the red mushrooms? Literally just color trait of red and swamp. So, let's place a button mushroom over here. And uh, we can go ahead and selectively breed for the red color. Which, thankfully, we did have enough for. I realized too late that I didn't check that. And then let's look at what lives in the swamp. We don't have any swamp trees yet. So to get the swamped task, which I think we have, we do have it unlocked. Yeah, so we just need the mushrooms, which they don't have trees around here. So that might be kind of interesting, but um, we'll see. Oh, we got one here and we can just go ahead and start breeding it. So there we go, that's good. It is almost time to wrap up the episode, and I know this has been a tedious few episodes where we're trying to uh, trying to get wolves and we haven't been able to yet, but we do have to complete this first, and we are moving through it as quickly as possible here. So let's grab this, we'll place that here. It should be reasonably happy, yes. It spreads the swamp biome, and we can probably just plunk down a couple of them and they should continue to spread here. So let's see, we've got these guys are pretty happy. We've got lots of happy birds. Everything over here seems to be doing pretty well. Can we, we can change the color of the apple tree, but we can't do it to dark green just yet. Some At some point I want to. Do we have, we don't have any orange, uh, or we do have an orange cedar tree here. So I'm gonna start kind of uh, populating this area. Let's look at what spreads forest. We'll place some rosemary here, and uh, it likes forest trees, right? It's just forest trees. It just likes trees in general. So we can actually, we'll place in some sage. What is sage like? It likes grasses, I believe. Uh, stones and grasses, so we'll place down a few stones. That'll help. And we can get, let's go back to spreads biome forest right here. We'll place in some ferns, 
and uh, then what we'll do is we'll actually move that tree when we have the chance. We can place some heather as well. It'll be fine here. This is a suitable altitude. And now let's earn some more DP because we need to move this tree and I'm not sure how much that's going to cost. It's going to cost a lot. Okay, we'll try and do that before the episode is up and that'll be kind of the last thing we do. Maybe we can get started on the Acer tree, but we'll probably end up doing that next time. Oh, we got the reward for the swamp task. That helped a lot. So now we have the willow tree. We can transplant this up here. It should be fairly happy. Yes. And we can start, okay, we also need wild boars. So let's go ahead, lives in biome forest. I wanna place down an apple tree, or we can place berry bushes actually. They don't spread woodland, do they? No, uh, but we can place these down and these will be a little bit easier to maintain for that. But I also wanted to see what this most recent task we got. Or no, we got the, um, oh, we finally have mountaineering. Okay, so we're getting, we're getting closer to being able to have wolves, you guys. We'll probably have it by the end of, uh, by the end of the, the fifth episode, I would imagine. We can probably do that. So we also need to get the potatoes figured out, but I'm not sure. I think that was what needed the acer trees, right? If we look at this, yeah, acer trees and 80% forest. So we need wild boars. Let's place one in because the berry bush should grow up soon enough, I think, right? We should be fine. And now we should be able to get the acer tree and we'll try and do that. It's gonna eat other stuff, that's fine. We can get the acer tree when we have enough DP. We'll go ahead and get that in game and uh, then we'll wrap up the episode here because uh, it is getting to be that time again. So we're just a few DP shy, a few thousand, and there we go. We should be able to get it. We can just go ahead and start breeding, and here we go. So we're earning DP a lot faster for sure now. That's definitely a good thing, and we are starting to see these spread, which is nice. And we finally got an Acer tree, so let's place one here. It should be happy. We just have to remember to keep the tall trees away from it. And now, if we look at the sage, we can actually get a potato plant. So since that happened so quickly, let's start with this now, and we'll just get our potato plants in-game as well. Do they spread a specific biome? They do spread the forest biome, so we can only have them in the forest biome, basically. Let's place that here. And then at some point, uh, I want to make sure that uh, we'll, we'll place them over here as well, because then that'll give it the um, the guinea pigs. I guess we don't have to have them have a diet of only potato plants, um, but that'll give them a nice variety, and hopefully they'll get started on this um, pigging out quest down here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, because it is about that time again. So the world is taking shape. We're slowly starting to cover the barren areas, although there are a lot left still. And uh, thus far, things have been going fairly well. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.